Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will go over my experience with the Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert Reassessment Exam. As you know, my exam was due to expire. I created a video on that and I'll post a link down below. And happy to say I passed on the first try on the exact date that my exam was due to expire. And the experience was very positive, but I'd like to mention first of all that it's been a while since I upload a video and it's that I've been changing over my uh, equipment, my laptop that I use and my desktop that I use for video production and recording. And I'm also trying to switch over to a different uh, video editing platform, which is DaVinci Resolve. And as some of you may know, this has a steep learning curve and it is steep learning curve because I'm not a video expert. I'm a cloud expert. So with that said, let me talk a little bit about my experience. And as you can see, I achieved this and now it's set to expire on November 7th, 2022. And the exam was somewhat difficult. It was a lot to read. It, each question was quite difficult. It was a little confusing because I didn't know how much time I had on the exam. Some of the notes that I saw said that it was 45 minutes, but I didn't have a timer. So I was rushing through it. And, but overall, I passed the exam. And here it is. So now I have 505 days for, to take the exam all over again. And I really like this way of, of how they did it because they give you the information that you need to study. And if I go through this site that is prepared specifically for those candidates that are due to take the exam. So for example, here, I can't take the, the assessment. And if you recall my last video, I couldn't click on this for several days. Well, now I have to wait a whole year practically before I'm even able to take the renewal assessment. And what I like about it, they do give you material for you to prepare for this assessment. And, and these are, as I guess, it's all the new stuff since the last time you took the exam. Now, if you're preparing for the exam, from the last time that I took it, it was a very hands-on exam. When you take the Azure Solutions Architect Expert exam, it's quite a bit, it's hands-on. So if you're not used to the, using the dashboard, you're not gonna pass. But this one is not hands-on at all. Basically, it's just question and answers, and you read the scenario and you answer the question. I'm not gonna break my, um, the form that they make you sign. So I'm not sharing anything that, that would avoid my certification. But if you look at it, here's, um, and this is how I prepared. Lots of hands-on, of course, lots and lots and lots of hands-on. But then I did go through the material that they gave me for my recertification or reassessment. As you can see, it's all 100% completed. I took it. There's many exam or review questions. And, and you go through these. Some of them are hands-on. Uh, they'll have a, a window that opens up and it ties in to your own Azure account. 
but it creates the environment in a training mode so you're not paying for this environment. So if I click on one of these links, it will give me the information that I need. And this is one I took a few weeks back. This was not specifically in preparation for the exam. This was after the exam because it's been over a month, May 14th. And as you can see, it gives you the instructions that you need and it takes you step by step, little chunks, five minutes at a time. So I want to show one briefly. And as you can see, full stack monitoring in Azure, something that you might not be uh, experienced with or comfortable with. Well, it gives you quite a bit of information. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. This helps me out and I will keep posting videos. They will get better and better as time goes by. So one of the things that I wanted to show as well is that here you see your current certification and your past date, but they also give you badges for other things that you've done, other courses that you've taken. And I think it's nice that Microsoft is offering all of this for free. If I click on Browse Achievements, it gives me different badges that I've earned for courses that I've taken here. And I haven't taken too many. Um, I use, like I said, A Cloud Guru is one that I use. Um, it used to be Linux Academy. They got purchased, bought out. But this is what I use and might as well take advantage of anything that's free out there to learn and practice. And like I said, you really need to do hands-on work. It's the most important thing that you could do. Do the work. Do not be lazy. Build it. Destroy it. You can set up different free accounts and, and build this whatever environment you need to. And some of them will cost you a few pennies. And... That's the probably the one of the most important things when you're in an environment, you want to control your costs because costs in, in Azure or any cloud environment will get very expensive right away if you don't control it. Any environment that you start working in, you will see loads and loads of residual uh, applications, VMs that you don't even know why they're there. And now you can't delete them because no one took the effort to mark them, tag them, or delete them after they used them, after they built them. So learn how to manage costs. So you have to practice on the actual Azure portal. And that is my number one tip. Keep studying, keep going on. I'm going to try to produce more and more videos. Uh, if you want to see something specific, you can just post it in the comments down below. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It helps the channel out, helps me out. And in the end, it helps you out because I will just keep uh, providing whatever I know. And I'm, I continue to learn because new things keep coming out. And I love all of the cloud. Any cloud, every cloud. I love the cloud.